and Joe Strummer, I remember he was in a rhythm and blues band called the 101ers, and I remember him crying on my shoulder saying, uh, I wish I had a band like you. Eric Holland with sound advice, despite hanging by nooses on the cover of their new album Giants, essential English rockers The Stranglers proved themselves exceedingly vital at the Highline Ballroom this week. I asked JJ and Baz why it's been 20 years since they've been in the city. We didn't feel quite ready, uh, and now we do. We feel ready to confront our demons in New York <laughs> on this side of the Atlantic. Stand up and be counted for what we can do. Is there a sense of that on this tour? It's like, hey, if you don't know who we are, this is us. Take a peek. Absolutely. Part of Strangler's lore, JJ, is a fight you had with Paul Simonon of The Clash. Uh, Steve and Paul from Sex Pistols were having a drink uh, with Paul. And as I walked past Paul, and we knew each other you know, from, from the scene at the time, uh, he just spat just as I walked past him. So I thought that was me, but it was a nervous tick I learned later, but I just hit him. And then you know, Steve and Paul from Pistols, their drinks were, went all over the place. And then the mass bundle, we ended up in the courtyard with the Ramones and Pistols and the Clash on one side and the Stranglers and a few friends on the other side of the yard. And it was handbags at, you know, for New York One, I'm Eric Holland from WFUV.